Okay, so we'll call this part three of my Volkswagen GTI cooling fan video series. And uh, as you can see in what we're looking at on the screen here, this is the water pump. That it, it was in fact the water pump. Some of you guys had requested that I, that I shoot this part three video. And uh, I guess a few things to, to note here with what we're looking at on the screen would be this is a metal impeller. Some of you guys had mentioned the factory ones being plastic and then some of the aftermarket ones were, were a metal impeller. This one was not plastic and you can see where it's separated. Uh, pretty tough camera shot here. This was with my phone so I apologize. But you can see where it's separated from the bushing or from the, the shaft of this water pump. It's just spinning around it. And, uh, you know, it's, this is not a common issue in, in my experience. Of course, from the comments from you guys, this was a real common issue on Volkswagen. And, and so this is something to look for. And I, I think it would be worth mentioning some of these suggestions from you guys. And one of them I, I liked a lot was to check the heater core temperature or check the, the blower temperature inside. Warm the car up. Look at your temperature gauge as the temperature starts getting hot. Turn the blower on, turn the heat on max, and if we have a water pump issue, a flow issue, of course our heater core is going to be cold, and so the air is going to be cold. And so I thought that was a very valid test. And I'll let this play through again. Another one would be as a few of you mentioned checking that small hose in the coolant reservoir and see if there's flow coming out of that which would indicate water pump flow and apparently that would be most useful with the engine warm now we would want to be careful opening up that pressurized coolant container to look for that flow but that would be another one is to see if there's flow from that small coolant hose going into that reservoir Another one, of course, is going to be an infrared temp gun. Take a block temperature measurement and take a radiator temperature measurement. And this would be during the overheat condition. You know, the radiator should be very hot. Now, I know the water pump's not the only thing that would cause that. A, a stuck closed thermostat would also give us that. And, and, you know, I guess a flow issue through the radiator would give us temperature differences too. In other words, if the radiator was plugged. So these are things we need to look for. But definitely this one. I mean, that's pretty cool. Looking at the spinning of the gear and holding the water pump still. I think at the end I kind of spin it by hand, which shows you how freely it spins independent of the, the shaft of the pump. So check the heater core temperature, blower temperature. Check that upper coolant hose, that small hose on the reservoir. Check for temperature differences between the block and the radiator. And then a final one would be, you know, you can squeeze the upper radiator hose on a, on a system that's warmed up with thermostat open and rev the engine. And you can actually feel that flow through that system. And, and that's one I've used in the past. So, I mean, we don't see this often, at least not on the domestics. And if some of you mentioned... I can't remember the exact cars. I apologize that there was a, a domestic one recently that you had looked at that had the same kind of thing going on. So this does happen. And again, definitely want to add this to our list of possibilities. Uh, maybe one other one I can mention as I'm talking here that I'm thinking about. And I don't know if it was possible or not in this car, but it was a good suggestion. And that was if you... If you remove the thermostat on this model, you can actually reach inside with your finger. So you can't see it, but you can reach inside with your finger and apparently you can grab that impeller where I'm touching it and you can spin it. And obviously you shouldn't be able to spin it if it's attached like it should be to this gear. So it's, it's another, another test that maybe you guys will find to be useful. I'm not totally sure if you will or not. Again, I didn't do the repair. Uh, I'm just holding the water pump in my hand and you guys are looking at that. So I guess that would be a fourth one. Reach inside, see if you can spin the impeller. You should not be able to. 
Um, just to back up again, the original video, which is our cooling fan video, it is a valid test for the fan circuit, and that's all it was. I did not address the thermo switch. I never checked the temperature of it, so I admitted that mistake to you guys before. And uh, there it is, broken water pump impeller. And in fact, the impeller's not broken, but it is separated from the shaft and spinning freely. And again, this was a metal one, not a plastic one. So it looks like the metal one's not the fix. Some of you guys were insinuating the metal one's better. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's a metal one and it's also bad. So uh, to each his own, hope you guys like that. Thank you very much. Have a great day.